Hello my stitchers, I am Dimple Anand and I welcome you on Stitching Mall. A very beautiful jacket design is shared by one of you and I am very happy and very thankful to him for giving us this, de this design so that I could make this design on the stitching wall and show it how to do it so nicely and easily. The steps for making a designer dress is to first of all understand the design so that we could make its pattern. Then we have to make a paper pattern so that we don't waste a lot of time and fabric. Then we lay the pattern in the right manner, cut the interfacing or lining and then we cut the fabric. This is a front open jacket with an overlapping on the shoulder back. So we need to cut it with using a paper pattern. While we make designer dresses, it's always better that we cut paper pattern first. I love to cut directly on a fabric, but you know, it saves time, fabric, so much effort and confusion while we draft a pattern on a paper. We mark half shoulder. You can keep it half inch less if you want a deeper armhole. Then the back, neck width is just divided by 12 or 2.5 inches that is for a small sizes and 3 inches for medium to bigger sizes. Shape the back neck. We don't need front neck uh, length or markings because our jacket is front open. Then we mark armhole length. The design here shows that the this jacket is uh, deep from the armhole so I keep it chest divided by 4 plus 1 quarter of an inch chest line is chest divided by 4 plus 1 inch I'm keeping it 1 inch because I'm keeping side uh, seam allowance also so there is enough space if you want losing or alterations later on if you gain weight so mark armhole line from shoulder to chest line it will be half inches less than the shoulder and then join this line from the shoulder. Shoulder slope would be half inch down and join this mark with this neck. Take midpoint of uh, this armhole length half inch inside. You can keep even one inch inside if you want it deeper and half of this line raise it up and shape the front armhole there would be only one armhole shape here no back armhole so i'm calling it front armhole but this would be same for front and back in fact for back you can keep it slightly deeper as the design shows so you can make it as deep as you want. Now mark the waist length 14 inches, hip length 21 inches and total length I am keeping 25 inches plus half inch. You can keep as short or as long as you want. Waistline is waist divided by 4 plus 1 inch. Hip line hip divided by 4 plus 1 inch and bottom same as hip line join the side markings half inch seam allowance on sides cut the outline When our basic drafting is done, we need to shape, we need to mark for the jacket shape that we want. So our 
neck width was just divided by 12 or two and a half inch or three inch whichever you have kept so from waist waistline keep it half inch more like I kept two and a half inch from neck width so I'll keep it three inch here so three inch here and join it from our neck the jacket bottom you can shape it any way which you want you can make it uh, like slanting or a curvy or little curvy or like Maharaja Akbar types whatever way you want but for this desired design that I've sh shown we join face mark with bottom end in one straight line and then from this line I take midpoint and take about one and a half inch out to shape the jacket front for a more curvy this bottom you can take it even two inches before cutting it we'll make draft for back part of the jacket using this front part so I don't cut that I keep the front part to mark the back part exactly the same and we'll cut it exactly the same as the front one if you want the armhole that can go half inch deeper inside so cut the back part exactly as the front part Now we cut the front part of jacket and we'll give it shape from the middle as we had already drafted and marked. So we cut it till the end and here we got two pieces. Even if we had cut one piece that would have been enough for us but just to show you clearly I cut two pieces. Now we draft and cut the back part of jacket. So from one shoulder end till the opposite uh, bottom end we make this slanting line because our jacket back is a cross back jacket back and it's overlapping each other from the this across back so we need two pieces exactly the same identical but in different directions so we make paper pattern only for one and if there's any wrong markings or uh, the markings which you don't want erase them or cut them now cut this line slanting now we'll use this uh, fabric to cut our jacket this is velvet I'm using satin for inner lining fabric uh, generally you need more for a designer dress so for main dress it is main jacket two and a half meter and for lining exactly the same two and a half meter so I turn the fabric wrong side this is a velvet suit Punjabi suit or whatever suit and uh, somehow for some reason I don't like its neck so I make this jacket on this suit fabric so when the benefit of making a paper pattern is you can lay it as per your desire otherwise you have to make guesswork or too much of imagination and creativity while placing the uh, markings or making the markings or cutting the fabric but here you can just place the paper pattern pin it and make the mark and cut it so because this, this is a velvet fabric I just cut one piece it's very difficult to get cut it because it slips from your hands it's got a different kind of texture it's of course different than this satin and the cotton so I cut one piece and keeping this piece I keep right side up 
you be very careful how you place the fabric otherwise the whole efforts and fabric would be wasted because in any way we are placing fabric not in the simple way as we do in our simple dresses and once a part is destroyed we'll have to be like very calculative how to make another piece so on the wrong side of the back part and right side up of the front part make the mark you can use the pins and then cut the other part also two pieces of our front are ready so these are the jacket fronts see how beautiful they look and now we cut and place back part pa paper patterns and pin to mark and cut the back part so because there is no design hindrance on the back part thing it is all over the same design we can place our paper pattern anywhere mark and cut but in the front part of this jacket there was some like different designs so we need to be careful while placing the pattern and cutting that so here we can place it as we want but we would be needing double the length of our back because these pieces cannot be cut on single length because it's across back and it's it needs to be overlapped so i'm not adding any seam allowance here no extras inside because i had already mentioned that i have included seam allowance while making my paper patterns see in commercial uh, setups or uh, in markets when you get the those paper patterns in those patterns the seam allowance is not included because they have to use that same pattern again and again but here i don't care only i used to save because i was uh, i used to be very uh, you know possessive about my things but now i have understood it's useless to just stick with the things so now i make a new pattern or i'd rather cut directly on the fabric because now i quite comfortable doing that now so you can also do that so be very careful i again say that uh, see the wrong side of that front part that part we had cut earlier is visible from top and both right parts the beautiful parts of the fabric are touching each other facing each other so now you can place them like this so here we got front here we got back so you think that our jacket is done but no we need to cut in a lining because a jacket without a lining is not quite beautiful as beautiful as it should be so same way keeping the patterns cut the lining for the jackets i'm using satin but you can use whatever you like to have whatever you whichever fabric you have so this is velvet for the top and satin for the inner because i want a very nice silky beautiful uh, feel of this jacket but you can use any fabric or whichever weather you want so keep it mark outline and see here i'm cutting you would see that across like keeping the pattern around the selvage i'm cutting but it is not selvage in fact i had already cut on this fabric this lining fabric for something else so it is on bias that line slanting line is coming on bias so it has to be cut on bias you have to cut the fabric as it needs to be cut like if it is in length it cut it on length if it is on bias cut it on bias see this part if you see i kept how i kept the fabric uh, like uh, parallel to the selvage and that slanting line that it be cut on bias it means wastage of a lot of fabric but doesn't matter that will be used for something else something more beautiful
thick cut lining for the front parts also so here we got two parts and once it's done we'll be having four pieces of front two for top two for lining and four pieces of jacket for the back two for lining and two top pieces for overlapping so here we are done with the cutting thing these two pieces and this is the top piece for check it and same way the other one see how beautiful it looks and here we got the back one one and another one there was a little label on this uh, pink fabric I tried to tear it off but it didn't go off and it, I didn't wash it though I should have so I can hide it behind that top layer so this is how your jacket look I'm thankful to you for sharing this beautiful design with me and I'm sure you loved making this uh, pattern this uh, beautiful pattern and cutting this dress this jacket dress with me and uh, do like share comment and keep watching keep sharing you can uh, share your designs on uh, facebook facebook page if you didn't subscribe yet do subscribe so that you don't miss the second part that is stitching part of this jacket that will be as interesting as this and easier so keep watching goodbye i'm dimple anand si signing off bye bye